G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is I'm going to be looking at nursing calculations. Uh, basically this video is in response to I'm teaching a bunch of nurses so I'm uh, putting a bunch of videos up in order to help them with their drug calculations but also to help anyone who's doing uh, drug calculation sort of things. Uh, so this particular video what we're going to be having a look at is we're going to be having a look at say working at the amounts of a drug uh, that should be given based upon say uh, volume or a tablet sort of form um, and this is based yeah, upon how much is required and how much is actually on hand as well as the particular strength of a drug. Um, we're also going to be looking at some weight based sort of medications in this just as well as some of the unit conversions are uh, grams to milligrams, micrograms sort of things that you may be expected to uh, use. So uh, uh, there will be a few things covered in this particular video. In later videos we're going to be looking at say intravenous medications, uh, things like paediatric calculations, things like this uh, for drugs like that. Okay so let's get on with this particular one. Now this is the first video in this series and this is probably the most important uh, formula that you'll get as far as drug calculations go and it's this one here where the amount of a drug, okay, which I'm just going to put down as amount and it's based upon a few things for, to start off with um, in its most simplest form. It's first off it's based upon the stock required. Now the stock, re what's called the stock required is the amount of the drug which has actually been ordered for the patient. Okay. Uh, we also base it upon another thing, my nice messy line there, which is called the stock supply. This is the actual strength or the uh, of the actual drug that you have on hand. Okay, so th this is what the patient actually requires. This is the actual what you actually have, and, and we'll reconcile this too. We also um are going to be using this thing called volume. Some drugs are based upon uh you know maybe they're said to be five milligrams in two mil sort of thing okay so it's a strength that's based upon a volume so we're going to deal with that occasionally too this particular part's not always used and you'll see where this is used and where this isn't used in this particular video the other thing we are going to be dealing with is we occasionally will have to work out the stock required based upon a patient's weight we'll deal with that as we come along uh, but we're also going to be dealing with metric conversions and these conversions the major ones uh, and we'll substitute liters for the actual measurement I'm about to use like but I'm going to use saying where one gram equals a thousand milligrams similarly one liter equals a thousand milliliters and where one uh, milligram is equal to a thousand micrograms okay and these are the units with these sort of prefixes which are used a whole lot okay this micrograms by the way could also be written like this okay it's this little u-torrent symbol um, but yeah this also means micro uh, now just a couple of things with this the way I remember when I do these is this idea of this thing called Mr. BS uh, think of that being whatever you might actually remember that okay Mr. BS and what it means is this if you're going from a bigger say grams here to a smaller unit okay what you do is you are multiplying this number by a thousand for example if we're going from uh, say 0 0.6 grams and we want to change that to milligrams okay which is a smaller thing we can either multiply by a thousand so 0 0.6 times a thousand which is 600 alternatively we can move this decimal place here right and you move it right three times because it's one two three zeros in a thousand whichever way you prefer to do that so this would go one two three and become 600 okay alternatively if we're going from a smaller to a bigger number we divide or we go left okay but I remember this using Mr. BS so let's um let's get into some of these calculations that we're going to be doing so first off we have a patient which is ordered 500 uh, this one here which one's this one this one's milligrams of metformin hydrochloride the ward stock is a thousand milligrams per tablet so how much should be given now first off what I recommend is you try to give these a go okay you might not for this first one but try to give them a go make the mistakes get them right get them right or wrong here though we can then you can go through your answer okay so first off 
the way I'd do this is this. First off, I'd get this uh, formula, the amount, and it equals, I'm not going to write the whole lot, I'm just going to write down stock required, in an abbreviated form, over the stock supplied, times the volume. Okay, so, what do we get for this? Well, we get the following. The stock required, the amount the patient actually needs, is this thing here. Uh, this is 500 milligrams that the patient's been ordered to have. So we have 500 milligrams, okay? And we're going to put that over the stock supplied. The stock supplied, that's 1,000 milligrams. That's the stock, the ward stock here, which is 1,000 milligrams per tablet, okay? The volume, now we're not going to worry about the volume. And the reason we're not going to do this is because this is not a volume particular equation. This is just a tablet equation. And where it's a tablet equation, you can either assume this just to be 1, or not worry about it. So this is a rather simple particular uh, equation here. We're just going to end up with equals 500 over 1000. So the amount of tablets required equals half a tablet. Hopefully that's the answer you got. Okay, let's go on to the next one. A patient is ordered to have 600, what's this particular one? Micrograms of medication. Stock on hand is 150 micrograms in 2 mil. So let's calculate the volume to be given. Same formula, give it a go. Okay, so the amount is equal to the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume. Okay, and you see there is a volume here. This is this particular part here. Okay, so let's work this out. So, uh, we have the stock required, a patient is ordered to have this much. The stock required is the amount the patient's meant to have. So it's 600 micrograms. And this is going to be divided by the stock supplied, this amount here. 100, the stock on hand is 150 micrograms. CGs. And the volume, okay, this is how much the stock on hand is. It's this amount in this amount, and this is the volume. Okay, so the volume here is 2 mil. So what do we get? We get 600 divided by 150, we get the answer of 4, and 4 times 2 mil. 4 times 2 mil, we have our answer. How much volume? We get 8 mil of medication to be given. Hopefully you went pretty good with that. Okay, let's have a uh, Look at another question. An injection of a drug, one milligram is ordered. Okay, stock on hand is 500 micrograms in two mil. Okay, so we've got milligrams and micrograms. We are going to have to deal with those to make these the same types of units. What volume should be drawn up? So first off, I'm going to deal with this fact that we have, here we have milligrams, one milligram which is ordered, and we have 500 micrograms supplied. So first off we have to get these the same. So I'm going to change milligrams here to micrograms. Okay, so one milligram equals how many micrograms? Okay, MCGs. Now this is using Mr. BS. This is a bigger thing here. This is a smaller. So we're going to multiply Mr. We're going to either multiply or move the decimal place right. I'm going to multiply by a thousand. So we have a thousand micrograms. Okay, so let's get our formula where it is. The amount and it equals the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume. Okay, what does this equal? Okay, the stock required, so this is that uh, the injection of one milligram, which we worked out to be a thousand micrograms, so a thousand MCGs, and this stock supplied is 500 micrograms in two mil, so 500 micrograms MCGs. And the, the 2 mil is the volume, so times 2 mil. Okay, so what do we get? We get the answer of 
a thousand divided by five hundred is two, so two times two mil. Our answer, hopefully this is the answer you got, is four mil. How'd you go with that? Let's have a look at the uh, another question. Okay, a patient with acute alcohol withdrawal is to be given diazepam five milligrams. Ampoles, I'm going to probably say that wrong. Containing five, uh, containing ten milligrams per two two mil two milliliters. What volume should the patient receive? Okay, I'll read that again. A patient with acute alcohol withdrawals is to be given diazepam five milligram ampoles contain ten milligrams for every two mils. What volume should the patient receive? So this here, um, again, we these milligrams are in the same units we don't have to stuff around with those so let's just go straight onto our formula our amount equals the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume this equals stock required is to be given five milligrams so that's five milligrams over the stock supplied, which is 10 milligrams, and this is times our volume, which is 2, 2 mil. So what do we have? 5 over 10, this is the same as a half, and a half times 2 mil, our answer is going to be 1 mil. Okay. How are you going with these? Good? Okay. Uh, We've got this particular one here. Ordered is a thousand milligrams. Uh, in stock, we have one gram in three mil. What volume should be injected? Now, first off, what you may notice is this: we have uh, different units here. We have milligrams here and grams here, so we're going to have to reconcile this. Uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to change our grams um, particular unit here. I often find it's easier to go from the bigger medication and change it into a, a, the bigger unit and change it into the smaller unit. Okay, so let's do this. One gram is equal to how many milligrams? Uh, we'll use Mr. BS. Uh, Mr. BS, we're going from bigger to smaller, so I'm going to multiply by a thousand. We're going to end up with a thousand milligrams. So let's slot this into the equation, which is the amount equals the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume this equals the stock required equals a thousand no actually ordered is a hundred milligrams so a hundred milligrams the stock on hand is one gram in three mil this is that thousand so one thousand milligrams times the volume which is three Okay, so what did you get for this? Uh, 100 over 1,000 equals 0.1 times 3 mil. We get the answer of how much we need is 0 0.3 mil. Okay, and that's our answer. Okay. Now this one, we're going to be dealing with uh, a weight-based medication here. So let's have a look at this. A client who weighs 60 kilograms is to be given a drug at 2 milligrams per kilogram. The stock strength is 40 milligrams for every 2 mil. What volume of the drug should they be given? Wow, there's a lot of numbers there, isn't there? Don't get too thrown by them. Now, the biggest difference with this one, this is a weight-based medication. We This stock strength and that, that's all pretty standard. We know how we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with that a bit later on. But first, what we have to do is we have to work out the stock required and to do this what you will see that first sentence a client weighs 60 kilograms is to be given a drug at two milligrams per kilogram so for every kilo they're given two milligrams so the way that we're going to work this out is we're going to get this 60 and we're going to times it by two because for every Every kilogram, they're getting 2 milligrams, they're 60 kilos, so we times these together, we get 120 milligrams of the drug being required. So, 
let's put this into our formula where the amount, once again, standard formula, equals the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume. What do we get? We get the stock required, which is 120 milligrams. We're going to put that over the stock supplied. The stock supplied, that's this one here, is 40 milligrams, yeah? And the volume, that's just 2 mil, so times 2. What do we get? Better put the mil there. Uh, we have 120 divided by 40, which is 3. 3 times 2 mil, and it equals 6 mil. This is our answer. Okay. Alright, now there is one last question here, another weight based question. Now, uh, let's have a look at this one. The stock of a drug is, the stock strength of a drug is 80 milligrams per 2 mil. Okay, that's the stock strength. Usually I've been putting them a bit after. A client who weighs 40 kilograms is to be given a drug at 2 milligrams per kilogram. What volume of the drug should they be given? So, first off, let's work out uh, how much drug they, uh, how much what their stock required is. Because we have our stock supplied, we have our volume, we need to use these to work out our stock required. Our stock required equals the client weighs 40 kilos and is given 2 milligrams per kilogram, so we're going to get 40 and we are going to times it by 2, okay? Because for every kilo they get 2 milligrams. So they're going to get 80 milligrams. Now let's put this into our equation where the amount equals the stock required over the stock supplied times the volume. Okay, let's put these in. So the stock required is 80. We just worked that out. 80 milligrams. We put this over the stock supplied, stock, uh, stock strength. So we have um, 80 milligrams and a volume of 2. What do we get? 80 over 80 is 1 times 2. So we get an answer of 2 mil. Okay, because if one this over this is 1, so 1 times 2 equals 2 mil. So hopefully you're good on that. There is a bunch of these med these medication calculations on the internet. Uh, you just type in medication calculations, you'll find lots and lots of worksheets with these. Um, for my guys, I, I do have lots and lots of these I can supply for you as well. Okay, uh, in future videos what we're going to start having a look at is we're going to start having a look at uh, things like rates, injectables and things like this. Then we're going to have a look at paediatric calculations. I'll put a few links for those up right now. Anyway, hope you found that helpful. We'll see you next time.